In this lecture, we talk about using accounting information. Basically, managers and owners use financial statements to aid internal planning and control, number one. Number two, they use it for external purposes, such as reporting to the Internal Revenue Service, stakeholders, stockholders, creditors, customers, employees, and other interested parties. Inside the organization, board, the board of directors sees the, inf the accounting information, owners, shareholders, managers, management information systems uh, are, need this information, business research needs it, internal controls. All of these are uh, users of accounting information that an organization would need internally so that everybody in the different organizations knows what's going on in the areas that are relevant to their work responsibilities. In addition, there are, are other Groups use, other stakeholders use the information, include uh, tax collecting agencies, special interest groups, customers, etc. So there are many different groups that use accounting information, and it gives a common, and a, a common perspective and allows communication among different functions, sometimes very complicated or very complex and uh, specialized functions can communicate with one another by using this common language of accounting within organizations. Let's talk about some of these internal uses. Uh, managerial accounting refers to the internal use of accounting information by managers for planning and directing the organization's activities. Perhaps management's single greatest concern, particularly in smaller companies, is cash flow. This is the movement of money through an organization over a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis. It's not un company, uncommon, even for successful companies, to struggle making certain payments because of differences in timing when people are paying you money versus when you have to pay out money. And this is what's uh, what might generate a inadequate cash flow. Even though you're successful, the money isn't there because people still owe you lots of their payments and the like. One common reason for the so-called cash crunch shortfall is poor managerial planning. Managerial accountants also help prepare the organization's budget and their internal financial plan. This is what focuses, uh, exp forecasts expenses and incomes over a set period of time. So you, the organization doesn't overspend if there's going to be a shortfall in some of the revenue areas. Um, think of a budget as a financial map showing how a company expects to move from point A to point B over time. While most companies prepare master budgets for the entire firms, many also prepare budgets for smaller segments of their organization, departments, divisions, product lines, projects, etc. The top-down master budgets begins at the upper management and filters down, while bottom-up budgets start at the department or project level and then they're combined at the CEO office. Regardless of the focus, the principal value of the budget lies in the breakdown of cash inflows and cash outflows. This is the a role that I had with eight, within AT&T at the corporate level of managing the, the budgeted and financial planning process for the firm. It's a, um, it's a very important function that allows the organization to make sure that it has adequate resources and that they're used in, effic in efficient ways. There's also external uses of accounting information. Managers use accounting statements to report the business's financial performance to outsiders. Uh, these are financial statements. They're called, such financial statements can be used for income taxes, for obtaining credit or lenders, uh, for reporting results to shareholders and stockholders. Uh, they become the basis of the information that's provided in an annual report um, or a, in a, a 10K. Uh, is the financial filing or a 10Q, which is a quarterly firing, filing. This is a summary of the firm's financial information, products, and growth plans that is available for owners and potential investors. The single most important component of the annual report is the signature of the certified public accountant, attesting that the required statements are accurate and are an accurate reflection of the underlying financial conditions of the firm. That's why you need an independent third party, which is the role that financial, that public accountants play. Financial statements meeting these conditions are called audited. 
the public accountants come in from the outside, they look through the books, they verify the transactions, and they say this does indeed reflect the uh, internal conditions of the of the business.